Hey guys, I'm Eric Peterson, and I'm a men's dating and relationship coach for SkillOfAttraction.com. And today's attraction tips video is called Women Love to Be Wanted. Now, I've been noticing a lot with those of you that I've been working with and talking to that many of you are getting being needy confused with simply wanting a girl. And these are two completely different things. I mean, there is absolutely nothing wrong with wanting a woman on any level, whether it be romantically, sexually, or anywhere in between. You just want to be cognizant of when women are interested in you and women, when women are not interested in you. I mean, she may be flattered that you are showing her interest, but if she isn't interested, that doesn't mean to keep trying. Because you can't create attraction out of thin air. You can only uncover it if there's already something there. And if women aren't interested in you and you keep trying, you become what they call creepy. But before I get off track, what my point is, is that women love to be wanted and desired, but they despise being needed. So in this Attraction Tips video, I'm going to be discussing the difference between wanting a woman and needing a woman. But if you guys have any questions, please feel free to send me an email. All you have to do is head over to my website at skillofattraction.com, click on the contact tab, and shoot me a message from there. I only ask that you keep your questions and messages to me rather short and to the point, really just one to two paragraphs max. Otherwise, I'm just not going to have time to read through them all as I do get a lot of emails. And I will get back to you as soon as I can in either a video response where I will keep your personal information private or a written response. But I do have to take care of my paying clients first. So if you're just a little patient, I usually get back to you within a week or so. But if you need to get in touch with me right away or you want to dive deeper into your situation, the best way to do that is, again, head over to my website at skillofattraction.com. Click on the coaching tab and there you'll see I have several options for you to choose from. I offer emergency email coaching, which includes me responding to you on weekends and holidays. And I also offer bi-weekly and monthly email coaching where I will work with you throughout that time period. And additionally, I also offer one hour phone coaching for my U.S. clients. Now, if you're outside the U.S., I do plan on having something available to you in the future as, as far as phone or Skype coaching goes. But for right now, email coaching is the best way to go. And I will post a link to both my contact page and my coaching page in the description down below. Now, as I mentioned before, there's absolutely nothing wrong or, or needy about wanting a girl. In fact, you do have to express your desire for her to some extent in order for the relationship to grow and to be maintained. Because women, they're not going to stick around if they think that you're not interested in them. I mean, they may for a little while hoping that you are interested in them, but eventually they're just going to take off and think that you really don't care about them, so they're just going to move on. You just have to understand that when you're trying to express your desire and your want for her, you just can't overdo it. And guys usually overdo it by over-pursuing her or smothering her with their love and attention. And I've noticed that most guys, they're either one extreme or the other. And you really want to be somewhere in the middle. It's either guys are completely overdoing it by always contacting her, always being so available to her, showering her with gifts, oversharing their feelings, and so on. And then on the other extreme, they're trying to show no interest at all and acting like they're not really interested when they really are. And this is usually due to fear of being thought of as being needy and weak. And I used to do a lot of these same things when I was younger too. It was either I was just totally gushing over her or I thought I would learn my lesson when I scare them away. And the next girl, I would be like, well, I'm not showing her any interest because I don't want to be, I don't want to come off as being needy. And let me tell you something, neither way works in terms of building her attraction or keeping her interest in you. So I'm here to tell you that there's absolutely nothing needy or weak about being attracted to a girl or desiring, desiring a girl. 
In fact, there's been studies done that have found that across all cultures and ethnicities that women desire to be desired. And it's kind of interesting, actually. I, I lived with a stripper for about four years. There was nothing romantic going on between us. But when we think of strippers or prostitutes or porn stars or, you know, any girl that works in the sex industry, we always think that they have like some kind of daddy issues or they come from a broken home or they're raped or molested when they were kids. And this girl, she was none of those things. She came from a good family and she was never raped or anything of that nature when she was younger. So I asked her one day, I was like, why are you a stripper? I don't understand. And because I thought the same thing most most everyone else thinks, that there's something wrong here somewhere down the line that has led her to this profession. And she told me, she was like, Eric, you know what it is? Is I just love all these men, their eyes on me and all the attention I get. And I'm on stage and they're all looking at me just practically drooling by looking at my body. And she just, she was turned on by that. Of course, that's just one example, but it does back up my point of me saying that w women just love to be desired. And I'm sure for every, since every woman is a little different, I'm sure that desire to be desired varies on different levels depending on the girl. On the other hand, women despise being needed by a man. In fact, needy men is probably, if not the biggest, one of the biggest turnoffs for women. And the reason why is because it communicates to her that you're not confident without her. I mean, it's really easy to be confident when a girl is just totally enamored by you and in love with you, can't keep her hands off of you, is always calling you, just showers you with attention and affection. I mean, you feel like you're on top of the world. But for most men, as soon as she pulls away a little bit or all of a sudden isn't showing this the same amount of attention, they freak out and all of a sudden they get very insecure, sometimes jealous and possessive. And this just scares women away. It just send them, sends them running for the hills. I mean, women want a man that is confident and happy and driven with or without her because this communicates to her that you have a higher value. You're all these things, no matter if she's in your life or not. And if she perceives that you have this higher value, she's going to look at you with nothing but admiration and respect because a woman, she will never fully be attracted to you and in love with you unless she admires and respects you. I mean, she really has to feel that she looks up to you at least a little bit, almost like she's a very lucky girl to have you in her life. And if she doesn't perceive you in this way, it will never work long term. Now, the difference between wanting her and needing her is really the importance that you put on the outcome with her. In other words, you want to be outcome independent when it comes to her, or really for most things in life. And this just means you're not attached to an outcome. No matter what happens, you're, you're going to be fine either way. If you're attached to an outcome, this is really where you become needy. As an example, say that you tell your girl that you love her and she doesn't say it in return. And this upsets you. Well, this is a sign that you're attached to an outcome. Otherwise, you wouldn't have gotten upset. You didn't really tell her that you love her because you felt it necessarily, you said it more because you wanted to hear it in return. And that's needy. It's especially needy if you're, if you're vocal about why you're upset. As another example, say that you're dating a girl and things are just going really great. And you're really thinking that this is going to turn into an amazing long-term relationship. And suddenly she ends things because let's say she went back to an ex or she just wasn't feeling it the same way anymore and you're completely emo emotionally destroyed. Again, this is because you were attached to an outcome. You had expectations that this was going to turn into this amazing long-term relationship and it didn't work out that way. And this is where men become angry and resentful and depressed. Had you not had those kinds of expectations, you wouldn't be nearly as emotional about the situation. And it really doesn't matter if you're just upset on the inside. 
I mean, obviously being upset on the inside is way better than, you know, screaming at her or crying or breaking furniture or whatever the case may be. But the idea is to train yourself not to be attached to an outcome. And this is by no means easy. I mean, this is all about your self-confidence and knowing your worth. And it's not going to be something that you could change overnight. But it is very important to train yourself not to be attached to outcomes. I mean, sure, there are going to be some expectations in a relationship. Like you expect her to treat you with respect, that sort of thing. But having expectations of a future or that she is going to be feeling the exact same way you are at the exact same time, you're just setting yourself up for disappointment. And really, this all goes back to what I say in many, many of my videos is you need to be focusing on yourself first, focusing on your purpose in life and your happiness first. Doesn't mean that you're not trying to make your girl happy, which is important, but you need to think of your own happiness first. I think the saying goes, um, you can't pour from an empty cup which means that you have to be happy first before you can make anyone else happy. Now, of course, this doesn't mean that you're not going to be bummed if the woman you love chooses someone else over you or she doesn't meet your expectations on some level. But it does mean that if something like this happens, you're not going to just completely fall apart. You're going to be fine either way because you know you're a good guy and you know you're going to find someone else and you know you're going to be just fine because... Why not? You're a catch. And that's all there is to it. And this is really the difference between wanting a woman and needing a woman. So if you guys have found this video helpful or any of my videos helpful, I would really appreciate a thumbs up and for you to share it with any of your friends and family. And I'd also really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button down below and tick that little bell symbol next to it so you get real-time notifications of when I upload new videos. And in the description down below, not only will I have a link to both my contact page and my coaching page, but I will also have a link to PayPal if you deem this video worthy of a donation. So that's it for this video. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Have a good one. Bye-bye.